Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how you can make this super clean 3D edit that Bart VFX did in one of his recent videos. And all the assets I use in this video will be linked down below, so if you want to follow along, you can do so. But enough talking, let's get right into the video. Right, so now we are in Resolve. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, add a fusion composition and just make it 3 seconds, like this. And then just go into the fusion page here. So the first thing we're gonna do is just add a black background, and then you're just gonna drag the elf all the way down to make it transparent and now we can add the assets and as said earlier they are all linked down below now we're gonna make the 3d composition the first thing we need is our image planer and then we can add our 3d merge and our camera 3d and then finally our render 3d then just connect the image plane into our merge the camera into our merge and the merge into our render of 3d which transforms our 3d composition to 2d and then just Drag this one to the background and then create a merge. So the first thing we have is uh, obviously our background. So just drag that one on and connect it to the green input here. And just click on two on the media out to see it in this tab here and one on the merge 3D. We can drag back our background a little bit. So we are making a vertical video. So just go into project settings and then click on use vertical resolution instead. And then we can just drag our background back a little bit like this and go to the picture and just click on F2 so we can rename it to something else and I will just call it background. And now we can add the main standing on the cliff and just copy this image plane like this and as always connect it to the green input and there we have it. And just he will the main on the cliff will be in front of the valley here, uh, the background we have. So as we can see in this 3D space, if we change the C value here, we can drag it forward a lot. Um, something like this and then i will just drag back the camera so it fits everything tightly and maybe make this a little bit smaller and drag it even further back like this and then go to the other one here and just go to transform and scale it up so the background becomes bigger so as you can see now if i go to my camera and move forward and backwards we can see which thing is closest to the camera great so that, that's the basics of it. Then we will just uh, add some rocks down in the corner here to give it an even better effect. Copy this image plane and then just do the same thing. Connect it to the green input and to the merge like this. So now we can see the rocks and just drag them forward a lot like this and over to the side and down a little bit and scale them down a whole lot. So if we move it now, we can clearly see there's a difference. If we click on um, Control T, we can add the guides and then I will try and um, move this one over so it's over. So his head is uh, in the middle. So now I'll just move those stones a little bit further to the right like this. Great. So now we got the basics of it um now we will just add the text that will be behind the man so just add the text here and copy the image planer from the main let me just rename the man real quick to main like this and just copy this image planer and connect what this one in here and this one to the merge 3d right so let's just type in money and just move it over like this and this one we will go do so it's behind him like this and then we will do the rest of the controls in here make it a green color and just size it up a lot like this and put it down a little bit and change the font to Montserrat uh, and if you don't have the font Montserrat you can uh, go find it on uh, a font I think and we will just make it black so it's nice and uh, bold and I will just add the glow like this and turn up the glow size a little bit uh, so it's uh, got a bigger glow and the blend up a little bit as well then add a drop shadow and connect it by holding shift just turn down the blur and then you can place it just behind the text and then you can turn up the blur a little bit like this so we get some some depth to the text this is pretty much the picture we want so now we can just add some dollar bills uh, around the screen so just add another merge connect this one into the merge 3d this is just so it's uh, easier to organize and just add the dollar bill and add a image planer and connect everything. So now we can scale it down a lot like this and we can move it to somewhere else in the screen. So the thing you're going to do now is just to place these at random points and on the screen and play with the rotation and where it is on the screen. Just copy paste it and, and place them random at random spots on the screen.
I have placed a lot of uh, dollar bills at random uh, points at the screen. Now let's uh, make the camera movement. So go to the camera here, keyframe it at frame zero, and then just go to the last frame and zoom in a lot. Like this and keyframe the Y axis as well and go down a little bit. It looks pretty good to me. So let's make the camera movements move. So just click on zoom to fit here in the spline. It's up here if you haven't opened it and then just click and click on control A and then click on S to smooth it out and then just click on T to bring in the ease in and ease out to around 67 something like that so we get a smooth uh, zoom in and now we can uh, create some movement in the dollar bills by uh, going to the image planer and then keyframing the x uh, position in the end and in the beginning and just move them a little bit some you move out of the screen some you move uh, into the screen so yeah that's uh, pretty much what you're gonna do we have added some movement to the dollar bills and we are actually ready to to render it and then you are going on to the render 3d and just choose hardware render and then we can go into the settings and add some motion blur to it and then our effect is pretty much done let's uh, go ahead to, back to the edit page and take a look at it so this is what we got i think it looks fantastic so if you like this video please make sure to subscribe and uh, i'll see you in the next video have a good day